Our expedition has grown thin. Such a shame. I actually found those two amusing. Shut up. Of course, my lady. <laughs> A golem? So Dare Hannah's legend is true? It is no more than an obedient machine created to follow orders and kill. Not unlike our Witcher. Hmm. So I guess we should get along famously. You? What do you know about golems? I don't run into them in every forest, but any good bestiary describes golems at length, and I've read more than my share of those. Geralt, I'm not questioning your knowledge, but I should be the one to... Actually, you are questioning my knowledge. Listen, I know what I'm doing. I'll try to get it to reveal the word that'll deactivate it. Or I'll just mess with its head. Break the code. So now we've got a burglar in our midst. Be my guest. Try. My intentions are good. As are mine. Know, however, that this may change. Derhanna must have been pretty lonely if he gave you eloquence. The Master made me a guardian. Nothing less, nothing more. And you? Provided you stand there, are a guest. So you're aware you're an automaton? Do we really know who we are? Where we came from? And where we are headed? Is human life predictable in that the cycle of birth and death ensnares it? Better than mine. When a human is born, he is obedient to his parents. Later, he listens to tutors, masters, corporals. Finally, he succumbs to the will of death. And to think that Adelbert questioned Derhanna's mastery. Who, if anyone, is allowed to pass? Derhanna, but he is dead. Also, guests may pass, but I stop intruders. Tell me more. Who's a guest and who's an intruder? Is it not obvious? A guest keeps his distance, or knows the name word. An intruder is anyone who enters too far, attacks me, or otherwise interferes with my being. Has anyone tried to enter before? I recall no intruders. I do, however, remember guests who left after being warned. When was that? What did you discuss? I am a machine. My memory is limited. You are far more self-aware than a typical golem. Can you make sovereign decisions? The Master made me the way I am, because long discussions were to his liking. I can make decisions, within my program, of course. So you decide who's a guest and who's an intruder. Who else would? Guests chat innocuously, exerting no pressure. All others are intruders. I have other questions. Do you remember your creator? Of course. I was summoned into being by Master Dehenna. I abide by his will by his power, by the necessity encased in my stone bowels. Derhenna is dead. His word, which animates me, lives on, as does his legacy, which I protect. Empires will rise and fall, rivers will shift their courses, but I will remain obedient to one master on my eternal watch. must have been an exceptional man. Can you tell me about him? I guard everything that belonged to the Master, including his privacy, which he valued highly. I can tell you nothing. 
Can I ask you for the name word which brought you to life and which can deactivate you? Do that, and I shall consider you an intruder. I have other questions. Powerful magic created you. Derhanna was a true master. He is still since his mastery survives. As a conscious being, you must be lonely here. You are wrong. The pain of the world, melancholy, lies within the domain of emotions and feelings. My thoughts are governed by pure logic, restricted by my program. But you can learn. They say that a penchant for philosophy can only come from curiosity. In my case, it comes from the will of the Master, who liked to speak with me. And do you feel a need to discuss? I feel nothing. I just have that need. Can we discuss the program that controls your behavior? Of course not. I have other questions. All right, I think I know how to get past this thing without a fight. Burglar witchers, philosopher golems, an expedition replete with fascinating discoveries. And terrible disappointments. Shut up, Adelbear. And you, witcher, deal with that golem. We know you exist by the will of your master, thanks to the name word he gave you. That is true. You were created to discern intruders from guests. You are to stop the former and greet the latter. Intruders must be stopped. Are you aware that intruders may seek to deceive you? I have stone fists to defend myself against those armed with swords. I have my iron logic to defend against those armed with words. But intruders could include sorcerers who alter reality. They could be illusionists or mere liars. What then is certain? My existence is certain, as is my master's will. Since only you and the master's legacy exist for certain, everything else is doubtful. A malicious intruder could cloud your senses. I am the guardian. The Master prepared me for that. He couldn't foresee everything, so he gave you a mind to compensate. You're much more conscious and intelligent than a Guardian needs to be. Your Master says, greet guests and stop intruders. That is certain, but everything else can be a lie. And you cannot allow yourself to attack guests. That would be against your Master's will. Guests must be greeted, and intruders must be stopped. This is Tehenna's will. Are you a guest or an intruder? Doesn't matter what I answer. Your senses deceive you. You can trust only your mind. You can't assume I'm a guest because I may be an intruder. You can't assume I'm an intruder because I may be a guest. This is a contradiction. A paradox. The law of excluded. Middle. We've done it. We've penetrated their Hannah's laboratory. Let's have a look. This is better than I'd hoped. A great success for Nilfgaard, this mission. Maybe you'll get that promotion. It's about the city's history. Diana describes finding an important document about the Vrans. Can you feel that? My medallion's vibrating. Another masking illusion. I'll try to disperse it. Later. Later, Elorn. Lisa Elorn. Later, dear! The 
device. What is it? You've done your job. You'll be paid and... Paid like the scholars were? They died once they were no longer useful. They were never useful, but Cynthia insisted. Fortunately, they were so kind as to remove themselves without my help. I'm not about to be that kind. Adelbert, you know what you're to look for. Yes, ma'am. It's a prototype megascope. I didn't know it had survived. What's it do? The artifact detects an emotional bond with a person. Its user need only focus on that person and the device will establish a connection. Great tool for a spy. Yes. Time you fulfilled your end of the bargain. What do you know about my past? You were a rider of the Wild Hunt. I read the reports. Don't the Nilfgaardians have anything better to do than write reports about witchers? Not about witchers. About you. You are the sole person to have been a member of the Host, and survived. Anything else? Any detail you can give me would be useful. Don't trust Letho. You think I trust the people I hunt? He's your foe today, but he wasn't always. How do you know I knew Letho? I've read... The reports, I know. Why are you warning me about him? Because I like you. Is there anything to prove I was part of the Wild Hunt? Nothing. Apart from the fact that Nilfgaardian intelligence agents are drawn and quartered for lying in their reports. Hmm. An enlightened nation indeed. You haven't the faintest notion how many people are interested in you. Very important people. Just because I survived? You're a former rider of the hunt, and you live. You may be the key to solving the mystery of the retinue. And they all know that. You must watch out for yourself. Let's say you've satisfied my curiosity. Well then, consider me glad to have satisfied a witcher, whatever the way. You've fulfilled your end of the bargain. As have you. Take your coin and leave. I'll take the coin, and the artifact. That is not what we agreed. Because I didn't know you'd find anything this interesting. And now you know too much. Don't force me to deal with this my way. Calm down, both of you. Everyone has received their due. Their due? Huh. As I see it, Nilfgaard feels its due more and more. So our mutant is also a patriot. Back away. Life is a string of choices, and you have just chosen suicide.
Your fate is in your hands, sorceress. My fate? You haven't asked a single question about me. Yet it is all up to you. Your situation is a comfortable one. Do not squander your chance. So, wish to tell me anything? I'm a sorceress, an advisor to the King of Temeria. Ah! I believe we agreed you would speak only of things I do not know about. We've been following the Witcher for several days. I know now he's fully on your best side. Should I terminate them? Constable Natalis thinks it unnecessary. Your orders are to cross the Yoruga with your men. Why? Natalis suspects the Emperor has amassed large forces on the southern bank, near the border. Verify this. Yes, sir. Tell me again. I find it arousing. Well, Geralt and I went to Vergen, where my dear friend immediately got into all sorts of trouble. Kiss me here. Good. And, since it's widely known you can't abandon a friend in need, I helped him. Now here. Not, not, not there. There. Good. Ah, oh, the adventures we had. We presided over Prince Stennis' trial. Really? Then Geralt had to fight his way through a mist of wraiths. And you? I had another mission. Just as important. But you can't expect me to tell you everything now. I have a ballad to compose about it. Now kiss me here. Really put your lips into it. Oh, yeah. I guess that does it. 